Okay, good. Okay, I will share now my my screen so that you can see what I'm uh, talking about. Okay, can the can you see the the screen uh, on your desktop or on your phone? Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, okay. So maybe my voice is lagging depending on the internet connections. However, as usual, this session is being recorded. So uh, I will load the you uh, the YouTube in the YouTube channel so that you may uh, review it after this eh, after the class ends. Okay, uh, we give you some uh, theoretical part on uh, gas el elimination method. So I hope you still remember this gas elimination method is a method to solve simultaneous linear equation by converting the given equation to this form where your A is a matrix, okay? A matrix that containing the coefficients of your unknowns equations. And this small b at the end of the equation is also a matrix, okay? But the matrix in, in a column, column form, okay? It's in a column form where it is a coefficient for your uh, right side. Okay, so in order to use Gauss elimination, all of this matrix A and B, you must put it in this form, okay, where you, you combine matrix A and B, and this form we call it as augmented form, okay, augmented form. Okay, augmentum form is only by combining your matrix A and matrix B in one larger matrix, as you may see in this on the screen. Okay, you combine matrix A, this is your matrix A, and matrix B okay, in one large matrix. So usually I will name this matrix in octave as matrix A, B. Okay, we will see this later on in your MATLAB code or in Octave code. So, what is the function of Gauss elimination? Gauss elimination will process this augmented matrix so that you can process it until the form to be in this manner, where this form we call it as upper triangular form. Okay, upper triangular form where you may see that the top of the matrix is converted to a upper triangular form that containing coefficient which is not equal to zero. Okay. On the top part, the coefficient is not equal to zero. However, on the bottom part, bottom part which is called as the lower triangular form, all of the coefficient here will be zeros. So how to perform this? you have to perform a process called as forward elimination method. Okay. And this forward elimination method will be stopped when the number of operation is equal to n minus 1, where n is the number of the equations. Number of equation. So in this case, if let's say, if let's say we want to solve the uh, one simple example of simultaneous equation. Yeah? In this equation, you see that your number equation is 3, so your n will be 3. n will be 3. So the number of forward elimination here will be n minus 1, which is two operations of forward elimination before you stop the process for back substitution. Okay. Uh, are you following my lecture or uh, you have any understanding problem before we proceed with the process? No, sir. No, sir. Is there any, uh, any uh, different point of view between my lecture and Puan Noah Shikin? 
maybe uh, Puan Rashid much more comprehensive than me, or maybe I put you some new knowledge in, in this lecture. Or maybe you are not noticing any any differences at all. Is it the same? Yes, sir. Okay. So, as I said, we have to uh, extract eh, A matrix from the equations. So, A matrix is the coefficient in front of the unknowns, where it is given in this uh, yellow bracket. So, the coefficient in front of the unknown here will be 1. This will be negative 3. In front of Z is 1. In front of X is 2. In front of Y is negative 8. Positive 8. Negative 6. Positive 3. And pos negative 15. Where those are coefficients that we call it as A matrix. Eh? So this will be 1, negative 3, 1, 2, negative 8, 8 again, negative 6, positive 3, and negative 15. So all are called as matrix A. And our matrix B will be the column vector containing all of these coefficients, which is negative 4, sorry, positive 4, negative 2, and negative 9. And your X matrix in this equation is given by X, Y, and Z. However, in Octave or MATLAB, we are not using this symbol, but you will, you will use symbol of X1 to represent X, X2 to represent Y, and last one, X3 to represent Z. Eh? So we are not using this X, Y, and Z to represent the unknown variables in MATLAB, eh? but we use this X1, X2, and X3. So your job is to solve the equation in form of this by using Gauss elimination. Eh? Okay. So uh, as, uh, as I said before, first of all, you have to perform augmented matrix by combining matrix A that you have defined and matrix B in one big matrix. Okay. So I will perform that using Octave. Okay. And in this case, I will use MATLAB because my Octave has some kind of problem. Never mind. So I will type clear CLC. Clear Okay, and I will define my matrix A. So if you see carefully your matrix A, that will be 1, negative 3, 1. Yes, is there any question? Any question so far? Because I hear some voices. Ada masalah, ada masalah apa-apa? Okay, now. Okay, yes, yes. Apa dia? Tolong check up. Ada apa masalah? Ada masalah ke? Tak ada, sir. Okay, tak ada. Eh? So, now I want to perform this uh, matrix A. So, if you want to construct the first row, 1, negative 3, 1. So, I will write this matrix in this manner. And in order to separate the second row from the first row, you have to put this semicolon, okay? And you type the next row value, which is 2, negative 8, 8. So 2, negative 8, sorry. 2, negative 8, and 8. And the third one will be negative 6, 3, 15. Negative 3, 6, 15, is it correct? Terbali, eh? Negative 6, 3. That's how you create matrix A. So I will close this matrix. And I will also create matrix B. 
matrix B is 4, negative 2, 9. So I will put 4. To separate the second row from the first row, you just use this semicolon, negative 2, 9, and close the bracket. So I will save this file in a file name, let's say, RAR. Maybe the file name is not nice, so I will change it to be testing. Okay, so if I run this command, you may see that if I run it, you may see that my A matrix and B matrix has been defined in MATLAB memory. And as you see, uh, if you uh, noted before, I have to create augmented matrix by combining matrix A and B. So I will combine matrix A and B. Matrix A and matrix B, I just combine it like that. And I put open bracket and close bracket. And this answer I will put, uh, I will store in the matrix called as matrix AB. Okay, so if I run this, you can see that matrix A and B has been augmented and it is stored in mat variable matrix AB. Can you follow? <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And your job will be started after this. Okay, that is your job after this, is to perform forward elimination process. So this forward elimination process, you have to conduct on each of the column by how many times? By how many times of forward elimination? Still remember? How many times that I should perform this forward elimination? How many Two. times? Two. N minus one, which is three minus one. Three stands for the number equation two times, meaning that I have to perform on two columns, two columns. Okay. So I will start by, with my first column. This is my first column. And the first column will have a number here called as pivot element. Pivot element. So this pivot element is for column number one. And your job is to ensure that the number beneath pivot element here must be zero. Okay, so should be I uh, highlight this. This number must be converted to be zero. Meaning that from two must be to convert to zero. And from negative six, you must convert to zero. So that is your job. So how to convert this number to be zero? So you, you know that this number is two. Okay, wait, I have to erase this. Oh, never mind. Okay, that number is two. Okay, that number is 2. Okay. And my pivot element here is 1. So I'll put here. I want to convert this into 0. So what is the suitable operation that you should do on this 2 number so that when you add up or when you um, deduct, the answer to be 0? Can you suggest one operation? Multiplication. Multiplication with what? Zero. With what? Zero. I know multiplication, but with what? With, by, uh, by which number? Which number must be multiplied? Is it two to be multiplied? Or one to be multiplied? Or 96 to be multiplied? So what are the, what is the operation?
tu macam mana? Macam mana nak jadikan zero? This is your row number two. This is your row number one. This is back to be your row number two. So macam mana nak jadikan ni? Dua dengan satu ni jadi kosong. Nak kena buat apa ni? Apa saya kena letak tengah-tengah ni? Supaya yang ini jadi kosong. Row one multiply by negative two. Betul. So meaning that I have to multiply by negative two. Betul. Kemudian. Apa nak buat? Tolak dengan negative two balik. Dekat second. Campur lah. Kita campur lah. So if I follow this process, I put on the top one. This is R2 plus negative 2 times R1. And if I put back to row number 2, you will get 0. So this is the operation that I have to program in octave. Okay. R2 plus negative 2 times R1. Put back to R2. Then this answer will be 0. Okay. Okay. So that will be the next thing that I want to do. So row number two, okay, before I'm doing that, I have to show you something on the screen. So if I want to extract my row number two from matrix AB, so this is your matrix AB. So how, how I want to show this on the screen so that when I type the command, 2, negative 8, 8, negative 2 will be appear on the screen. What is the command? How to extract this row so that it will be appear here? Macam mana? Okay. So in order to extract row number 2, you have to type matrix A, B, row number 2, comma, all column. This mean, and the first number meaning that, row number 2, and this one is all column. So if I push enter, you can see that only row number 2 will be displayed on the screen. Okay. If the same procedure I apply to row number 1, a, row number one, all column. If I press enter, only row number one will be appeared. Okay. Boleh nampak? Boleh je. Okay, row number three. If I want to display only row number three, I will put number three in front and all column. If I press enter, then you can see only row number three appear, but not uh, displaying matrix AB. Eh? Okay. So if I perform the operation, row number two, eh, remember that this is row number two, eh, row number two, minus 2R1. So I'll put back that. Minus 2 times row number 1. Okay. And the whole answer will be substituted back to row number 2. So, if you see carefully, okay, if I press enter, then you may see that this value now converted to be zero. Tadi nilai sini kan kos dua kan? Sekarang dah jadi kosong. Boleh ikut? Hmm, boleh saya. Ya. Yeah. Okay, kalau macam tu, cuba suggest kalau kata boleh, suggestkan saya equation how to make sure that this is to be zero. Saya nak you pula beritahu apa equation dia. 
Uh, kalau boleh, tolong cerita dengan sikit ni. How to make that negative 6 kat bawah tu jadi 0? Cuba cerita sikit. Hmm, macam mana? Macam mana jadikan bawah tu jadi kosong? From negative 6 now to be 0. R3 plus R3 plus R3 negatif R3 plus plus what? R3 plus negative R3 tu dah memang negatif lah which is negative 6 plus So in octave command Macam mana pula? Kalau bentuk octave command Boleh minta saya Octave command Apa command ni? Yang itu dah betul lah Tapi dalam octave command A, B Kurungan Tiga Koma Double dot Okay Untuk kurungan equal to Equal to okay A, B mm -hmm. uh, Untuk kurungan mm -hmm. uh, 3 comma double mm -hmm. dot mm -hmm. Kurungan plus okay. 6 time A, B 6 time A, B Untuk kurungan 1 comma double dot Untuk kurungan Cuba kita tengok, eh, so anda cekap, cuba tengok betul tidak, I just run it and it is zero. Seperti yang kita nak. So, when you have done that, eh, as I said before, when you have already make this zero, kerja you untuk column one habis. But remember that you have two columns to be operated. So, meaning the first column now finish. Next, we move to the next column, which is this column. Okay. So, we have to work on the next column. Okay. And the pivot element here will be negative 2. This is your pivot element. Okay. And what is your job? You have to ensure that the number below the pivot element still also equal to 0. Nampak? So macam mana nak jadikan tiga ni pula jadi kosong? Ada apa cadangan? Nak jadikan tu kosong? Anyone? How to make sure that this 3 to be 0? Ah, sepatutnya beginilah. How to make sure that this negative 6, ne sorry, negative 15 to be 0? This is your pivot element. This is your pivot element. This one you have to convert to 0. So, what is the procedure? Negative 15 and then the pivot element is negative 2. You want to convert it to be 0. Um, what is the suggestion? Kalau minus 7.5 times 7.5, ah, okay. maksudnya minus. You nak minus 
7.5 tu meaning that 15 over 2 lah isn't it? Over 2. Times with this. Okay, cuba check dulu. 1915 campur 15. Okay, betul lah. So, in terms of equation, that will be R3. Okay. Plus negative 15 over 2, isn't it? Hmm. Multiplied by row number 2. And the whole result will be substitute to row number 3. So in MATLAB command or in octave command, this will be AB what? AB. 3 all plus negative 15 over 2 multiplied by AB 2 comma all and the whole thing must be substitute to AB so, kena negative 15 over 2 ke ke oh ah, betul lah betul lah betul eh, kalau tidak dia takkan kosong saya kat sini silap ni sepatutnya ada negative kat sini eh, in my notes is wrong so you must put negative there ok so we go back to our method command that will be AB 3 all is equal to AB 3 all plus negative 15 over 2 multiplied by AB 2 all. Okay. Cuba tengok eh. Yang ini asalnya negative 15. Hopefully when I enter the uh, my keyboard this negative 15 to be zero. Ha, kenapa pula ni? Apa masalah ni? Sekejap eh. Apa masalah ni? Is there any problem there? Okay. There's no problem. This zero. Nampak? So how many for elimination you have, you have conducted now? How many? How many forward elimination I have conducted now? Dah berapa kali dah saya buat ni? Forward elimination ni? Tiga. Dua. Mana tiga? Dua. Kenapa dua? Kenapa bukan tiga? Pertamanya sebab satu kalau tinggi satu pula yang bersuara tu. Okay. When you have when you have finish eh, the first uh, fall emission adalah you buat benda ini supaya jadi kosong ni. Ini satu kali. Kali kedua yang ini jadi kosong. And you have finished. Dua kali saja. Just two times. So when you have finished forward elimination, the next step is to perform back substitution. Okay. Why you need to perform back substitution? Because you want to find the unknown value. And the word back here suggests that the method must be started from the bottom to top. That's why the word is back here. Eh? You use the word back from bottom to top. Eh? So if I write this equation in matrix, this is in actual is negative 54x3. Remember, eh, in octave, you cannot use symbol z. I have to use x3. It's equal to 108. So x3 can be computed to be by dividing 108 by negative 54 which is negative 2. So you have already obtained the first unknown which is your z value eh, ataupun x3. So working on the next row, eh, you will have negative 2x2 plus 6x3 equal to negative 10 and you know that x3 to be negative 2 then you can obtain what is x2. Okay. Eh? And repeat the same process on the first column, oh sorry, on the first row where you have x1 minus 3x2 plus x3. x2 and x3 has been determined. You can now determine x1 that to be 3. So you have already obtaining the whole unknown values by using Gauss elimination. Boleh? Hello? Oh, boleh dah. Okey, kita tengok 
Oh, benda ni dalam bentuk program. So, that's why you nampak lebih jelas. So, I will provide you with one uh, program nanti. Which is Gauss Elim. I will provide to you. Later on. So, in this program, I will put my matrix A. And my matrix B. Okay. So, if I run this program. I just run this program. Then you can see the solution of the problem. Okay, so the original augmented matrix is given like this eh, that we have gone through before. And I will perform the first forward elimination at column number one, column number one, at row number two. Masuk ikat sini. And before forward elimination, dia akan gini. Betul kan? Yang ni kan? Sebelum forward elimination, dia ni. But after you conduct forward elimination, dia akan jadi gini. <coughs> Nampak tak? Ada persoalan tak setakat ni? Tak ada. Okay. Next, after you perform at column number one and row number two, dah tentulah you akan perform at column number one but row number three kan? Ha, itu yang kita buat selepas ni. Nampak ni? Perform forward elimination at column number one, at row number three. Yang mana the beginning value will be this. Eh, saya akan letak sini. The beginning value will be this. But after forward elimination, dia akan jadi gini. Nampak? Dia akan jadi zero dekat sini. Betul? Boleh? Boleh. Okay, so the first, the first forward elimination has been finished. Now we will perform second forward elimination on the second column. Yeah, second column ni. So second column, nampak ni, at row number three. Kalau lihat betul-betul row number three, yang terakhir sekali yang ini. Yeah. Ah, yang ni. So, I want to change this negative 15 to 0. So, after using the code, it will change to this. Okay. So, we have finished forward elimination. Now, before we do back substitution, this is the final augmented matrix before back substitution. Yang mana, if you solve the equation, then you get x3 to be negative 2, x2 to be negative 1, x1 to be Three. Okay. So the whole program here will do it automatically for you. Nampak ni? Uh, sampai sini. Eh, okay. sampai sini. Dia akan buat automatic for you. And if let's say you want to check with the uh, the exact value, eh, okay. saya so boleh check dengan exact value. So I let's say I okay. So the exact value can be found by let's say I I use command solution is equal to the matrix A that you get and then you backslash with your matrix B and I will get the same answer. So, nampak tak sama solution eh? If I just use only this command, just one line command, I will get the same answer. Uh, tetapi in practical test, janganlah you buat command ni, memang saya takkan terima lah. Saya nak you boleh tulis program ni. Ni, semua program ni you boleh tulis. Okay. Ini adalah cara yang cepat Menggunakan command ni saja A Backslash B Then you get the whole solution Without to go typing The whole thing Like this okay. This is serving as the Checking mechanism With your codes Whether it is working or not Okay Boleh? Setakat ni boleh? Boleh. Okay. Next lah kita akan tengok the next part which is Gauss-Jordan. Okay, the theoretical part of Gauss-Jordan I will not touch uh, in detail because Puan Ashikin and Puan Norlizan have touched it in your lecture. So, I will just want to show you the differences between Gauss elimination and Gauss-Jordan. In Gauss-Jordan, uh, you have to... Uh, convert this matrix into augmented matrix 
as you did in your Gauss elimination. However, for forward elimination, you have to convert the matrix in this form. Eh? In this form, which is we call as identity matrix. Okay, if you still remember your mathematics, identity matrix where you have the diagonal element to be one and the rest will be zero. And you have to convert this to this. And the solid, the, the column, the last column of the matrix will give you the solution, which is X, Y, and Z. So I don't want to go detail the process. I just want to show it by octave. Okay, Gauss Jordan. So I have a program here called as Gauss Jordan. Okay, I will clear the screen first. Okay, this is Gauss Jordan. You have to input your A matrix and B matrix. Okay, and this is the whole code. And I just only run the code. And you get the same answer. No problem. You get the same answer. 3, negative 1, negative 2. Tak ada beza. Okay. So in, fun, uh, in your practical test, you must be able to write this code. If let's say you, your question, it will be Gauss Jordan. Okay. Okay, we, we proceed with the next uh, topic, the last topic, which is LU decomposition. So this is the third method on how to get your unknowns using LU decomposition. However, I... Uh, I just use a common in MATLAB or in Octave called as LU. So you don't have to program uh, this method in detail. So we just use only the command eh, LU. So how to, to use this uh, command? You just use this command and you must put your A matrix. Eh? Remember, A matrix and AB matrix is not the same. Eh? So ensure that you use the correct matrix here, which is A, not AB. And all of the value computed by LU here will be stored in three variables, which is L, matrix U, and matrix P. Okay, so by typing this command and push enter, you'll get three matrix created in the matrix memory. So in order to get your X solution, you have to perform this command to get your Y solution by dividing your L matrix here with the multiplication of P matrix and your B matrix. So in order to get your X, you must divide your U matrix on the top here with your Y matrix and you get the solution. So by using LU decomposition, you just only use three lines only in order to get the answer. Okay. As compared with your Gauss elimination and Gauss Jordan, you need at least 30 lines in order to complete the solution. So I will use my LU decomposition program. You may see that it's a very short uh, line. So you have to Provide your A matrix here. Then you have to type your A matrix and your B matrix here. So I just run the program and you get the same answer. No funny, eh? I can get my L matrix, U matrix, P matrix, and solving by that using two lines. Where well, it's the two lines, which is this one. This is the two lines equation. Then you can able to get your X matrix, which is Next, uh, 3, negative 1, negative 2. And I compare the solution with the with the uh, simplified uh, operation in Octave, which is by dividing A with B, and I get the same answer. Okay? So however, in your practical test, you must remember to code this code from here until here. Okay? So that's all about the lecture. For your assignment, see your assignment number two. So do not refer to this assignment. This is for group K. 
for your group group A this is your assignment so you have to submit within one week eh so kena submit dalam masa 7 hari lah bukannya hari Sabtu ni minggu depan which is hari Selasa before 12 noon sebelum 12 tengah hari okay so solve this problem by using elimination Jordan and LU decomposition and then tolong uh, semak ni if the first point is changed to 225 0.85 uh, buat lagi sekali menggunakan Gauss elimination Gauss Jordan and Gauss LU decomposition semak apa perubahan dia Okey. Boleh? Boleh. Okey. So, uh, do you have any question before I uh, finish or end the class? Is there any questions? No. Okey. So, if uh, you don't have any question, I will uh, put the Google form attendance in the WhatsApp and also the code eh, for gauss elimination jordan and lu decomposition also in the whatsapp group okay okay sir okay, sir. okay. okay. so kalau tak ada apa-apa kita okay, sir. di kelas inilah okay sir okay, sir. okay. 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 so itu saja eh any problem tolong Thank tanya saya balik dalam whatsapp eh ataupun ataupun apa cara email ke whatsapp eh Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, okay. sir. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Sir. Saya dah tak ada lah. Ya, saya. Ya, saya. Ya, apa jadi, Yang? Yang? Mau ni? Ya, Mak. Apa jadi? Apa jadi? Apa jadi? Dah habis? Habis dah. Habis dah? Ya, Mas. Nak ya. jadi lecturer. Kita buat kalah baru. Eh, dah habis tu, eh? Ya. Aku <laughs> orang ni tidur, bro. <laughs> Eh tak, dia, dia bukan marah apa, memang habis lah. Ha, memang habis lah, serius serius. Tu dah, ni apa semua dah dari, dah habis lah kita. Eh, hey, Jal. Ya, serius serius serius, aku imbat. Eh, hey, hey, tak ada lagi tu. Tak ada dah, habis lah. <laughs> aku buka-buka dah, dah habis lah. Ya, dah habis. Serius tak? Eh, tak. Tak, 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 tak. Oh, yeah, no! Oh, yeah, no! Bodoh, Haji. Kenapa aku bodoh? Kau <laughs> bodoh. Eh, Pak Haji, Pak Haji, Pak Haji, game. Ya, yeah, okay, okay. PM, PM, PM. Ciao, Lu.